Hello. Uh, recently, I created a live project for mining publications, and it's called um, Human Post Estimation uh, with TensorFlow GS and React. Uh, the idea of this live project was uh, to provide learning material for uh, web developers, JavaScript developers who are looking to learn uh, ML. And these days you could do ML in JavaScript. Uh, there's no need to go uh, to Python if you would prefer to use your favorite language, which is JavaScript. So the goal was uh, for these developers to bring up to speed and show how you could do ML uh, inside the browser with JavaScript and TensorFlow.js library. And on the other hand, uh, often uh, ML engineers, they struggle uh, when they want to build a production ML model and uh, wrap it uh, with um, production application and run it on the web. So the goal was to show how you could not only build a ML model, but a complete uh, life cycle and implementation steps uh, for the web application, which is implemented with uh, React and JavaScript. So um, let's go and see. Uh, this is the homepage uh, for the live project, and I'll post the URL below the video. And this live project comes with um, five uh, smaller projects. Let me refresh. Page, yeah, okay. So there are five smaller projects, and each of the projects is focusing on a, a certain area. So the first one is uh, introduction, and it explains how to set up the development environment. Second one is focusing on webcam integration and postnet model integration. The third one is focused uh, entirely on UI implementation. Then the fourth one is ML, uh, is on ML model training, and finally the last one, the, the fifth one. Uh, explains how to use a uh, trained model for the prediction and how to uh, actually uh, classify um, the new data with that model and uh, provide the feedback to the user. So as you can see, the first uh, project is free, so you could uh, try it. Uh, anyone can do it. You can just go there and and uh, uh, and work on it. So. In, in today's video, what I would like to do, I would like to explain this first uh, free project, what is there, and uh, just give you a quick overview. So hopefully this gives you a um, good idea about the live project in general. So you go there to the to that live project and uh, you could get it for free uh, through that button. In my case, because uh, I the offer of uh, the project, so obviously I can uh, go into any of the five projects and let's go to let's open the project itself okay it opens and then um, each project follows the uh, exact same structure there is a set of instructions there are a set of milestones and uh, for each of the milestones you have a set of instructions where I give you like a tasks, like what you need to do to solve this milestone. So it's not not a tutorial. It's actually uh, the, the idea with Live Project is uh, learning by doing. So you follow the uh, instructions, which are written in the form of tasks, and you solve these tasks, and then you you uh, get the result. If you are stuck at a certain point, there are three levels of help. Um, uh, first, you get just the general descriptions, then uh, on the second level, more precise information, and actually on the last level, you could get the uh, exercise solution itself, and you could compare it with your own solution and see where you are stuck. Also, uh, if you're on a platform, you get online help, you can write questions there, and all those questions will be directed to me, because I'm also a mentor on this project, and um, this way I could um, help and answer any, any issues. Okay, so let's go uh, and see, for example, development environment setup. Uh, over here, uh, I actually tell that you need to install Node.js and we're using ER and Package Manager because I found it works better with TensorFlow.js library dependencies and so on. So I'm using ER for this live project. And then I, in the next milestone, uh, we create uh, application with uh, yarn we uh, add some uh, javascript uh, functions and uh, we also do tensorflow integration and um, we call basic predict function to make sure that tensorflow is running so this is done in, in 
uh, marathon form. Okay, and you you get um, and if you choose, for example, uh, to skip project one and uh, you, you go directly to the project two, you would always get um, the application which is a result of the previous live project. So this way you could. Um, Start on project three, project uh, four. If, for example, you're not interested in UI, but you're only interested in TensorFlow uh, GS ML model implementation, which uh, is done in projects four and five, you could get these projects and you would get starting application, which is a result of um, project three. Okay, and let's look into the source code. Uh, so for this first project, what you have is uh, React application, which is uh, uh, created with Yarn uh, using a standard React template. Uh, so all the structure of this application is auto-populated. And then we have a um, single app.js file where uh, we keep um, JavaScript logic and uh, uh, UI implementation. Later, uh, as we go along uh, and uh, in the next projects, when logic becomes more complex, we introduce also additional uh, JavaScript files uh, where we keep um, uh, model training logic, data processing logic, and so on to keep uh, AppGS files uh, a bit, uh, uh, so to have just less logic in AppGS file and, and uh, have a better readability of the application. Okay, and in general, uh, why I like React is because you can keep um, UI representation logic and JavaScript logic, uh, logic together. And for example, over here we render div and we display a button and then from that button we call handle run training method. This is the method over here. And what we do uh, here, we construct a very basic model and this is classical example of TensorFlow.js where uh, we have um, static uh, two arrays of data and uh, those arrays are based on equation uh, two multiplied by x minus one. So we have uh, x is value equal to four. We have two by two, uh, four minus one, three. So this is the result. Uh, so that's over here. And then based on this uh, two arrays, we train this basic model and then we call predict function. We pass the value which was not included in the training set and we see what uh, value is generated. This is called a regression. So we don't do classification here, we just generate new values. So we do a regression. And then there's a helper function to uh, fit the model. And again, in this first project, this is just uh, uh, the idea of um, uh, of those functions here is uh, simply to test, to make sure that uh, TensorFlow.js integration works. And you do actual uh, implementation for the human post uh, uh, data processing that comes from the post net, and you train the model based on that data in, in, in uh, project four. And we see that uh, we integrate TensorFlow.js uh, library, but in order to be able to integrate that library, we need to uh, import or add um, TensorFlow.js support into the React project. And for example, if I go back to the live project on the platform, uh, we see that uh, in Milestone 3, we actually integrate TensorFlow.js. And in step two, there's instruction which says add TensorFlow.js library. And there's a hint that you should use uh, yarn add command for this. But I'm not giving exact command because uh, this is the task for you to go and find in the resources that are listed um, for this project or just on the internet, you, uh, you should find yourself how to do it. If you're not, uh, if you're stuck, uh, this always help. So you can uh, scroll down and for example, there's a uh, three levels of help. So we'll check the first one and we look. So we are interested in step two. <clears throat> and this is the hint for step two. Uh, we, we say that you need to use um, command to uh, add TensorFlow.js into React app. So this is the command uh, exactly as you should run it. Right? And then you run this command TensorFlow.js library and all dependencies are integrated into a React application and then you can do the import. And uh, for the uh, actual import, uh, you also have, on, uh, which is on step four, you also have a help. And yeah, there is, uh, for the partial solution, you could also get the source code, uh, which uh, comes with the entire structure of the application, but, the, but uh, the parts that are directly related to this workflow are missing. And there are commands 
where, where I describe what you need to put there. And then this is your task to implement missing logic. And if you are really stuck, you could always download full solution and you could uh, cross check your implementation with full solution. <clears throat> and let's run this uh, basic application. So now it's empty and I need to uh, empty in the sense that it doesn't have any libraries. It's just uh, our source code. So we need to install, uh, run uh, yarn install command. This would install all the dependencies that are set up in uh, package.json. It would bring uh, main dependencies and dependencies of, of those dependencies and so on. Okay, just a uh, few seconds is done. Okay, and now we could use yarn start. This would open the application uh, to prove that <coughs> our start, start uh, basically um, starting application uh, for this live project is, is up and running. We could also open developer tools and this is the application and then we click run training and in 200 epochs training is completed and we can see that there is a result 18.92 and we can double check that uh, we were calling predict function <coughs> sorry with um, the value 10 so 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 minus 1 is 19 and the model uh, is producing a regression value which is close to 19. This means uh, TensorFlow GS is running, model is training, and predict function is executing. So we have the working environment. And with this working uh, application, working environment, we go to the uh, live project 2, uh, where we start um, PostNet uh, integration and uh, WebCam integration into the React application. So this was a quick uh, introduction if into my life project with mining uh, human post estimation with TensorFlow, GS, and React. <clears throat> and the goal here was to show you the, how the project is structured based on example of the uh, first project, which is free, and where we basically set up all the environment for the future uh, projects that we go on, like 2, 3, 4, and 5. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, let me know and um, Hopefully you'll find this live project useful in your daily work. So this was my goal uh, to provide useful material for uh, your practical exercises and work. Thanks and stay tuned. Goodbye.